Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane. This video is part of my reply series. Oh, whatever. These are just all of the games that I purchased in 2021. So I thought I was done. Um, I thought I was done for the year. I. I gave my 24 plus a couple of bonus episodes, and then Retro Rivals turns around and puts out a really great video about uh, all of their purchases for the year of 2021, and I think, that's a great idea. And then there's the, you know, the little guy in the back of my head saying, you know, yeah, let's uh, advertise every one of the video games that you've ever purchased this whole year so your wife can kill you! Good job! Yeah, just a little take off on uh, Christopher Titus there. Um, idiot! <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> um, I'm going to do it anyways just because, uh, you know, I don't really pick up a lot of games at MSRP. Uh, I get a lot of things on the cheap. Um, and some things are like given to me as prizes for work and doing, and, um, uh, you know, doing interviews and looking at different products and stuff. And I get like a $50 Amazon gift card or anything like that um, just for like sitting through seminars and, and checking out uh, new products. And the other thing is I just got done watching Easy Going Gaming and his 2022 gaming goals. And um, I'm, this is going to be kind of like flowing into that as well, where I'm going to have uh, uh, mainly my gaming goal is going to be uh, being a little bit wiser with my money. Um, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to churn through my backlog a lot more because I realize that as many games as I've beaten this year, I've purchased a lot more than I've beaten. And... I need to flip the script on that. I need to beat more games than I purchase because I've got to chew into that backlog somehow. And I guess this is going to be the way I need to do it. Um, you know, I, I need to uh, shift some of my fi finances around into other aspects of my life. But um, the other thing is I'm going to plug a really great person of the community is the guy who runs Game Eye. It's G A M E Y E. It is a great and wonderful app. It's how I'm actually able to track all of this stuff using my phone and not purchase doubles. Thank goodness. Um, but only if you're smart enough to actually look up a game to make sure that you haven't purchased a double because I accidentally purchased a double. But it's okay. It, it's cool. We got it. Um, so I'm going to read off oh, um, the uh, report here about some of the games or basically almost every game that I purchased in 2021. So uh, we started off with uh, Final Fantasy 15 Royal Edition. My friend Sinchatus suggested this game a lot and... Uh, I had a feeling that this was just something that I needed to pick up and play, and Walmart had it on an error uh, for like $3, so I grabbed it. Um, Final Fantasy Type 0 HD. This was kind of a throw-in with something else that I purchased at a local store. They just basically threw it in. Um, Wolfenstein The New Order and slash The... Uh, old Blood Combo. So this was a combo game. I love Wolfenstein. It's one of the first first-person shooters I've ever played, and I played it on an old uh, Magnavox 486. And yes, that is me dating myself. But uh, I wanted to play the new Wolfenstein because I figured if it was anything to how epic uh, Doom 2016 is, then I'm going to be happy. Uh, next up is a digital purchase, uh, Coffee Crisis. Um, I picked it up because there were lots of people raving about it and having fun with it. And I wanted a good, uh, I wanted another beat em up to play on my Switch. Uh, then another influence by Sinchatis, the Quadratic Dream Collection. Man, I nearly messed that name up. Um, 
I picked this up for five bucks and it comes with what three games um, good lord what is it uh, Detroit uh, Become Human um, Beyond Two Souls and Heavy Rain and for what five bucks uh, yeah sure no problem uh, Outer Worlds another Walmart mess up picked it up for five bucks um, Clubhouse Games 51 Worldwide Classics on the Switch uh, guys, I, I picked this up honestly to play with my family. Um, you know, playing Men Kala, which is really a lot like Sorry, um, with my wife and my granddaughter and uh, my daughter in law, is just way too much fun. Lots of fun to have there. Um, let's see. Immortals Phoenix Rising. Uh, I heard a lot about it, I saw a lot of videos and reviews, and I figured that this was something that I'm going to pick up on the cheap, which I, I did, it was around five bucks, and put it away for me to beat it later, and yeah, I haven't gotten to it yet. Um, Mutant, Fit Mutant Football League Dynasty Edition. Uh, yeah, I picked this up because Gaming Off The Grid was playing it and it looked like a blast, and hopefully I can play it with my dad one day. Um, Aces of the Luftwaffe Squadron Extended Edition on the Switch. Uh, I wanted another shooter on the Switch, and this was like one of the few vertical ones that they had. And uh, what the video, other people's videos that I saw, it was all the comedy that I really liked. So that's, that's why I went with that one. Uh, Tempest 4000. Guys, I got Tempest 2000 on the Atari Jag, and I wanted a new and updated version with new and updated music, and uh, yeah, I wanted to hunt the trophies. Uh, Strange Brigade uh, on the PS4, I picked it up for $5 at 5 Below, um, just because, eh, it's $5, how bad could it be? Um, moving out on the PlayStation 4. Again, Walmart mess up, picked it up for five bucks. Um, Hell Warriors, uh, I think Walmart messed up and sold this for $4 at my local Walmart. Uh, Killer Queen Black, I saw this and I thought uh, instant party game classic where you're just having a bunch of friends over and just having a blast. And that's, that's what I wanted this to be. And I think that's what this can be. Um, Although, I still haven't had a lot of people come over and play yet, but, you know, it's work and various other excuses that I could come up with. Adulting sucks. Um, let's see, Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 4. Uh, I had all the other previous Cold Steel games, and um, I'm eventually going to play through all of them, I hope but I didn't want to miss out on this one. And um, I figured since it's an RPG and it's one of those off, off the cuff titles, and like not a mainstay like Final Fantasy that this would become hard to find. So I picked it up. Uh, I picked up Control for like $2 because I could at Walmart. Uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses. I think I paid uh, around 20 bucks for this uh, but I did some trade-in credit of like some of the doubles that I had so I think I paid end up paying like three dollars after after I was done cyberpunk 2077 uh, again my friend Sinchatus had a huge influence on me on this one uh, I saw him playing on his PlayStation 4 so I knew I wanted to pick it up and I got lucky and I picked it up for like 10 bucks uh, let's see and that was like early in the year uh, an Atari 7800 game I picked up was Galaga. I, I, I know, I know, I picked up a, an old game. It wasn't on the PlayStation 4. Uh, speaking of PlayStation 4, heading back to it, uh, Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales. I loved the original Spider-Man game, and I had to pick up the second one because I wanted more. And I mean, I wanted more. Give me more. I want more.
Right, sorry about that. Moving on. I uh, picked up Watch Dogs 2 and Watch Dogs because eh, I could pick them up for a song and, well, I mean, you know, Walmart's really got to get a handle on some of their inventory mess ups. Um, although I think I picked these up at Target because the disc had come loose and they hit the clearance aisle for $5 a piece. Uh, Ratchet Deadlock. I know, another older game, PlayStation 2. Uh, I figured out that it was not part of the Ratchet collection on the PlayStation 3 uh, that's digital, so I wanted to have it and be able to keep it. So that's that's why I picked it up. I wanted to make sure. And I looked back through everything and I didn't have it. Uh, another 7800 game, Robotron 2084. Uh, one of my good friends and uh, neighbors, Captain Natron, swears by this game, and yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, but you got to use that special controller uh, where it, it holds both sticks and you know do do what you need to do to get through the game. Uh, another one I picked up, uh, Dirt Cheap. I think I paid like two dollars for it. Dissidia Final Fantasy NT. A lot of people complain about this game. I Honestly, I haven't played it yet, um, and again, it was just me loading more stuff onto the backlog because I love my PlayStation 4, and I have a feeling that it's not going to be for a really long time until I can get a PlayStation 5. And I mean a really long time, like maybe 2025, unless my wife is more devious than I think she is, and I'm going to be getting one in a couple of days. Oh, by the way, I'm recording this on December 19th. Any of you guys who know me... I actually record videos ahead of time and what I say ahead of time I'm gonna be working on uh, videos for 2023 in about a week or two um, yeah so I work ahead of time let's see next up we have Mega Man Zero ZX Le Legacy Collection <laughs> for the PlayStation 4. I liked the Mega Man Zero games, but I really had a hard time playing them on portable. Um, and I guess it's just because my hands weren't uh, forming around the port handheld system very well. Uh, so I decided to give it a shot on controller. And so far I'm doing pretty well. Um, R-Type Final uh, 2, I picked this one up just because uh, Shmup Junkie, uh, had a lot of really good things to say about it and I was very happy with everything that he said and I really like his opinion on some of the other shmups that I have a high opinion of so I figured why not give it a shot and I did give it a shot and yeah it kind of whoops up on me it just re makes me realize I'm really out of practice on shmups and I just need to get back into it uh, Override 2 Super Mech League Big robots beating each other up. What more can you ask for? Uh, let's see. Auto. Uh, I'm gonna mess this up. Automendius, excellent on the Xbox 360. It's a shmup. It's kind of a TNA shmup, but it's a shmup. Um, it's on the Xbox 360, which I really don't collect for too much nowadays. But you know, it's there. Um, let's see. A uh, bunch of PC entries that don't really count because uh, I did not buy them this year. Zone of the Enders HD Collection on the PlayStation 3. Uh, Trophy Hunter. Guilty. Uh, Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. This is Samurai uh, Lightsaber Samurai's Fall. Um, purely. Game of Thrones on the PlayStation 3. This is the Atlas one. Again, Lightsaber Samurai, this is your fault. Uh, next up, Deadpool. I mean, how can you not like the tongue-in-cheek comedy? Uh, MLB 14, the show. Dennis with Retro Rivals, this is your fault. I wanted to give baseball games another try, and I saw this at a local uh, thrift store for a dollar, so I grabbed it. Street Fighter, Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection. Um, this is my stepson's fault because I wanted to get back into some of the classic fighters and I even picked up 
a uh, Rap 4 fight stick for this. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, the game. Um, this is the market's fault. Uh, I paid full upfront price on this and I ordered it strictly from Limited Run Games and it's the only thing I've ordered from them and it took forever to get to me and I just after playing it on an emulator I realized that I had to have that game in my life um, it's great it's a lot of fun everyone should check it out I want to play it with friends a lot more than I want to play it alone though uh, PlayStation 4 Middle Earth Shadow of War uh, my friend Sinchatus, his girlfriend is was like really really into this and uh, I heard the excitement in her voice while she was playing it and that just got me hooked. Uh, Lego City Undercover. Uh, another one that's basically the fault of uh, gaming off the grid. Uh, Armored Core Verdict Day. Scott from Retro Rivals, this is your fault. I had no idea that this game even existed. And then you let me know, and I thought that I actually already owned all of the Armored Core series, and I didn't. Uh, game Builder Garage. Me with lofty goals, thinking that I can program, and ooh, I'm too lazy. Uh, Forza Horizon 4 on the Xbox One. I love the Forza series. I kind of don't want to go back and get one and two, because I've got three and four, and I know that I'm going to be picking up five eventually uh, when I get a Series X, maybe even a Series X Elite. Um, but they're beautiful games and I even bought uh, a G920 steering wheel from Logitech to play this game and have a better experience. Uh, better experience? Maybe, maybe not. I have to get better at driving on that steering wheel. Uh, going on, the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt on PlayStation 4. Pick this one up for a song. Um, CD Projekt Red has been hit or miss, kinda. Uh, and I know that's kind of sacrilege because of how much they want to help gaming. But they need to slow down and get things out the right way. But my friend Sinchadish swears by it. And for $4, why not? Uh, Until Dawn, Rush of Blood. Yeah, I got a PlayStation 4 VR, and I got the little dongle, and I started collecting a ton of PlayStation VR games. Is this your fault, Jen? Yeah, yeah, I might as well just bl blame you. Yeah, it, it's your fault, Jen, from Retro Rivals. Uh, Blood and Truth on the PlayStation 4. Your fault, Jen. Uh, Batman Arkham VR, your fault, Jen. Armored Core Formula Front Extreme on the PlayStation Portable. Your fault, Scott. That yeah, your fault, Scott. <laughs> um, Tetris Effect. Uh, my fault. Um, Farpoint Aim Controller Bundle. Uh, yes, I did get it. Uh, I'm gonna have to say, Sinchatus, your girlfriend's fault. Um, uh, Marvel's Iron Man VR. Your fault, Jen. Um, Res Infinite. Uh, I played it at Captain Natron's house, so that's uh, his fault. Um, and most of these games, like, I got for, like, $10 or less. Uh, Paper Beast. That was a giveaway. Uh, digital. Moss. Digiway, digital giveaway. Uh, Astrobot Rescue Mission. Digital giveaway. Thumper. Digital giveaway. Uh, let's see. Vader Immortal Star Wars VR series. I paid $29.99 for it, and I do not care if you say that I overpaid. I think it's a great game. I think everyone who owns a VR set should play this. If you're a Star Wars fan, you should play this. Um, it is amazing. Like, the the way that, that they do all of the lightsaber combat. Yeah, it's a little clunky because it's VR and it's not tracking a whole bodysuit, but it's great. Starblood Arena, uh, yeah, VR padding. Um, uh, I think three dollars at Walmart. Uh, Concrete Genie, twenty dollars on Amazon. Time Spinner for the Vita and for the PlayStation Four. Uh, 
I was kind of craving a Castlevania kick and it was like right and it was before the Castlevania Advanced Collection had come out. Ghostbusters the video game remastered. I bought this in October to basically revisit the game and uh, Bo, this is your fault. <laughs> um, Dolphin Blue, Radical Reggie, this is your fault because it's a Dreamcast game that's not really a Dreamcast game. Uh, but I actually bought it from someone on Etsy that made it a really, really nice looking game. Uh, Legend of Legacy on the 3DS. I wanted to pad my 3DS collection just because it's kind of sad. It was like maybe four games before I started actively searching for games and like scraping for games that I, I was going to try to play. Uh, Bravely Default 2. Um, I got the other Bravely Default, so why not just follow it up and get the next one? Especially since it's a Square Enix game, and I have a feeling that it's going to be hard to find. Uh, let's see. Sadme on Digital 3DS. Uh, Hokuga on the 3DS Digital. Billions. Rolling Western on digital, 3D Outrun on 3DS digital, uh, 3D Gunstar Heroes on the 3DS digital, Kirby Planet Robotron. I'm a Kirby fan. Get off my back. Um, let's see. Fantasy Zone The Maze uh, on the Sega Master System. I'll get to why, how I got Sega Master System games in a minute. Ghost House on the Sega Master System. Final, uh, whoops, Fantasy Zone 2, Tears of Opa Opa on the Master System. Global Defense on the Master System. Hang On and Safari Hunt on the Master System. Penguin Land on the Master System. And finally, Monopoly on the Master System. I walked into one of my local pawn shops and uh, I know one of the ladies who works there and she she redoes all the jewelry and like remounts things so what she'll do is she'll take a ring and she'll move it um, she'll move one diamond from a really bad looking ring and bad looking setting and put it into a nice looking ring in a nice looking setting and you know they won't lose too much money on like pairing the two bad things together but they'll more than make up for it by pairing the two good things together. So I go to that pawn shop once, twice, maybe three times a month, just to check to see what they have, um, because it's just a good habit. And they had a bunch of Master System games in their clearance aisle, and I scooped them all up. I didn't even look at the titles, I didn't read them, I didn't do anything. And I noticed that there were like 10 games and they wanted $5 a piece on them, and I offered him two dollars a piece on them and they took it so yeah i walked out of there with a steal no no i offered one dollar a game for them if i took all of them and they took it yeah that was it like so yeah all of those games a dollar a piece maybe about a dollar 25 a piece or so but it was a great deal i grabbed them i scooped them i walked out the door with them and i was happy um Especially since I found out that the card reader in my Sega Master System works because Ghost House is a card is a uh, Master System card game. Um, Lego Dimensions. I saw it at Ollie's, at, you know, outlet store, and I grabbed it. I skipped on it like once or twice, and I just kept on regretting it. So I went back and I bought it. Uh, Risk of Rain Two, uh, Five Below. And it came with two games uh, on the Switch. Shenmue 3, Day 1 Edition. Uh, I didn't buy it day one. Nope, not at all. I bought it uh, like two or three months ago, and I got it at that pawn shop. Uh, Dishonored and Prey, the Arcane Collection. Uh, I picked this up because I wanted to play Dishonored on the PlayStation 4 because uh, trophy hunting. Um, Cotton Reboot. Um, Shmup Junkie, that's your fault. Uh, let's see. Mega Man Zero ZX Leg Legacy Collection. Um, yeah, that's the double that I accidentally picked up from the store up in Huntsville. Uh, I can't remember what I've done with it. I think I traded it. Um, 
Darius Burst CS Chronicle Saviors. Yeah, oh, wait, 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 I know that you're about to tell me, hey, wait a minute, Mondain, that's a limited run game. Guess what? I picked it up used from a store up in Huntsville, and I paid too much money. Don't tell my wife. God, don't, don't tell my wife any of this stuff. <sighs> Maybe. I don't know. Um, Alan Wake Digital, because my copy of Quantum Break still had a valid digital code. Even though I picked it up on eBay used, I was, I'm shocked, right? Like a digital code that this person could have pop popped out of a used game and sold it separately, they didn't. They didn't even check to see if it was redeemed or not. And I got lucky. Um, speaking of that, I picked up Quantum ba Break on the Xbox One. Um, Quantum Bake, wow, that would be a different game. Um, I picked up Persistence, I blame you, Jen. Uh, Cruise and Blast, I got caught up in the moment. Um, everyone was talking about the game. Everyone was hyped about it. I have nostalgic feelings for all of the cruising games. And I beat the stew out of it. I, it, it is not even on my backlog. Um, I collected every car. I did everything for that game, and now it just kind of sits on the shelf. I'm a little bit sad about that. Borderlands 3 on the PlayStation 4. Uh, my stepson loved Borderlands 1 and 2. I can't remember if he played 3 or not, but this was at 5 below for 5 bucks. Uh, Man Eater. Um, I mean, it's kind of like watching a car wreck. There's this weird sadistic humor about it that I saw and I kind of like that and oh don't judge me. Jagged Alliance Rage um, five dollars for at five below. Elix again five below. Dragon Ball Z Fighter sorry Dragon Ball Fighters. Uh, I picked it up on the PlayStation 4. I, pr I still own it on the PC uh, but I wanted it on the PS4 because I wanted to use it to train myself better to use my fight stick better. Um, Fantasy Zone, the original one on the Sega Master System. Uh, I picked this one up from Double Jump Games because I really wanted the first, I wanted a complete set of Fantasy Zone. And I had two, three, and met, or, two three in May's I, I can't remember but I wanted a full set and this was the one that I was missing Let's see next up Tales of Arise on the PlayStation 4 uh, easy going gaming this is actually your fault um, you hyped this one up on me and I got it uh, Walking Dead Saints and Sinners that's you Jen uh, Walking Walking Dead Onslaught you Jen um, Tom Clancy's The Division 2 uh, I picked it up for five bucks at five below Split second, I think I picked it up for like $2 at a used game store that's local. Um, Risk of Rain 2 on the PlayStation 4. Um, yeah, I know it's the second time I've purchased the game. Um, trophy hunting. You know, I wanted to play it on the go and just have fun with it on the Switch. And then I also wanted to trophy hunt with it on the PS4. Um, Yakuza Like a Dragon. Uh, I picked this up at Walmart because they had they had it for like three dollars. Uh, they were trying to clearance it out. Oh gosh, here's a weird one. Pathless for the PlayStation 5. I don't even own a PlayStation 5, but for the people who know me, I bought about 20 games for PlayStation 4 before I even owned a PlayStation 4. Why? Because I wanted something to be able to play on that system and keep playing on that system as soon as I got it out of the box. And that's exactly what I did. So Pathless I picked up for like $2 because, well, Walmart was clearancing them out. Uh, Clive Barker's Jericho. It was at that pawn shop. Um, Clive Barker's kind of got a name for himself, so why not? Um, Everybody's Golf VR. Actually, I won this on a trivia question for a seminar that I did at work. Um, uh, Grand Kingdom, uh, I picked this one up on Amazon because of my friend Sinchatas. Gears Tactics, 
I like the Gears universe. I need to get into it. Um, I'll admit that I haven't played any of them. So I need to I need to go through and do that. Um, but I liked Halo Wars and Halo Wars 2, so I figured Gears Tactics might be in the same vein. Um, Watchdog Legions. Oh, sorry, Watchdogs Legion. Uh, I like the idea of the first two Watchdogs, and I like the way that uh, Alex and Jen from Retro Rivals were talking about it. So I wanted to just collect the whole series. Uh, dot Hack GU Last Recode. Um, I like the Dot Hack series. I love the card game. Um, I like the anime from what I've seen. Uh, and I just want I want more of that universe, so why not? Uh, Kirby Triple Deluxe. I love Kirby and I needed to beef up the 3DS collection. Mario and Luigi Dream Team. I've heard really good things from all of my friends who own 3DSs on this one. Uh, Chris Tales. Um, almost call it Crisis Tales. Yikes. Uh, I think it was just cheap. Like, I picked it up for like $9. Ace Combat 7, Skies Unknown. I picked this up because of, one, VR, and two, I have the Thrustmaster P4 uh, Hotas. I don't know if I said that right, but whatever. Um... I have two neat gadgets that plug into my PlayStation 4, and this thing uses both of them. Uh, just like the Star Wars Squadrons game uses both of them. Uh, let's see, Hot Wheels Unleashed. Yep, uh, I, I picked up Hot Wheels Unleashed. Um, and then uh, the last and final game that I picked was Ori the Collection. I started playing Ori the first game on PC because I picked it up in a Humble Bundle, I think. And then the second game came out and then I spotted the Collection uh, and it's the I am 8-bit version of it. Um, I picked it up at GameStop for like $30. I think they had it mispriced or mislabeled or something. But yeah, that's, that's all of the games that I've picked up this year for uh, 2021. Um, now, I've already talked about my gaming goals and how I'm going to be trying my best to beat more games than I buy, but I've also been toying with the idea of um, saving a lot of money by not purchasing any games in 2022. And yeah, I know what that's. I know what that means. Um, now I've already pre-ordered the uh, the Horizon, uh, the new Horizon game for the PlayStation Four, and so that doesn't count. See, doesn't doesn't count because I've already paid that money. That's 2021 money. I'm saying no 2022 money goes towards purchasing. Uh, video games for myself. I don't know if I can stick to that or not. Um, maybe someone comes out with something. Maybe a deal just lands in my lap where suddenly uh, I see a copy of Panzer Dragoon Saga for $5. Because, well, yeah, the year that I say that I'm not going to buy video games, that happens. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm... Um, uh, there's some financial things that uh, need to change. Um, I'm actually looking to buy a bigger house and not buying video games in 2022 might be the way that it happens. Uh, but, you know, um, thanks for sticking with me, guys. This was kind of eye-opening. I thought that I was really just a person that only bought like PlayStation 4 games and that I had basically stopped buying retro games, but I've seen that I've actually bought a lot of 7th generation games, Atari 5200 games, or no, 7800 games, um, and Sega Master System games and stuff like that, and um, yeah, I mean, I'll admit that there's like an overwhelming majority of PlayStation 4 games, but you know what, guys? This was a great video topic to have and a great way for me to reply and maybe even challenge myself 
to realize how much money I am spending on games. Um, don't tell my wife though, please don't tell my wife. But um, yeah, uh, you know, that that's it guys. You know, have a great night and Merry Christmas. Well, that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month, and look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.